Hi, everyone. I am so sorry. I apologize for all of that craziness. I could not get um, the live streaming to work, and I had to uh, change a whole bunch of things. So hello, Jennifer from Tarl Speech. Thank you for joining me today. We're going again. Thank you for being here and to celebrate 13 years in business. Thanks to all of you for hanging in there and, um, you know, at least for today, waiting for me to figure all of this out. Um, we've been in business for 13 years. And so to say thank you, I am doing um, 13 daily lessons. Some lessons are going to be some videos that I shot several years ago that I haven't posted yet. And then I'm going to be doing some live classes and something a little extra special. If you start to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, I am actually starting to post some little short mini videos there as well. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I have you up here. I've got my iPad going. Um, so I'm going to do my best and I should get better at this as the week progresses. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, the last time I lost you was because I had turned on um, the slide presentation. So I don't know why that happened, but I'm not going to do that again. All right, let me get these up here. Uh, there we go. Okay, all right. So here we are, Jennifer from Tarl Speech. Today we're going to talk about word stress and vowel length changes. Okay. Oh, I see this is so exciting where everyone is from. Let me go through this really um, quickly. New York, Egypt. Um, where else? Let's get so many people. I love this. Turkey, India, Brazil. Okay, and Chicago here. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. All right. So the big concept today is that English is um, a stress timed language. And what that means is when we stress a syllable or a word in English, that syllable will be louder, longer, and higher. So the longer means that we are going to make a vowel in a stressed syllable longer than the other. So for example, um, let me actually show my face again so this isn't so boring. Um, if you have the word um, produce, like the vegetables, we would say produce, produce. So that first vowel and that stressed syllable is going to be very long, produce, produce. But if we use that same word as a verb, produce, then that second syllable is stressed, and so that syllable is going to be longer. Okay, so I'm gonna contrast those for you. So we have produce, and then we have produce. Produce, produce. So you can hear there that one syllable gets longer and one syllable gets shorter. Um, my students who speak Spanish and Japanese really struggle with this concept because in um, Spanish and in Japanese, every syllable and every um, vowel gets exactly the same length and that's not the case in English. All right, so let's go back to this. So because we are stress time language and we have one syllable that is a lot longer, the other syllable is going to become shorter, okay? Um, another thing to remember is that each word gets a certain amount of time to um, be pronounced in. Um, and so as vowels they'll have to get shorter as more syllables are added um, to the words here. All right, so if you have one syllable word, let's say the word um, man, um, that is going to get the same amount of time to say as if you would say, um manly so you can see that with man or you can hear that with man that gets say one second and then we have manly we have to make both of those vowels shorter so that they can fit into that amount of time that we have this is just a little bit of a tip 
prefixes and suffixes are added to root words. And most of the time, these do not impact the word stress of the root word. Um, but always, um, the universal is vowels will get shorter as words get longer and we have more syllables. We have a couple of exceptions here. And I'm actually doing a class this week on T-I-O-N endings. I get questions about that so often. Um, and so I'm gonna do a class on that this week. And I think I have another one, a bonus one, just because I was making all of these on the I-C ending as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, but let's jump into all of these words. And I'm gonna show my face again so that you can see me. Okay. And it should be coming up here in a second. Okay, hi. All right, let me just make sure I don't have any questions here. So, all right, so I'm gonna give you one word and I'm gonna try to show you um, with my hands a little bit how this will all um, work to give you a visual. So our first word is narrate. Um, and then when you add the suffix, the suffix, the suffix, ater, narrator. And then we have narrative. So we have narrate, narrator, narrative. Narrate, narrator, narrative. So you can see that I have to make my beats a little bit faster when I have more syllables. So narrate, narrator, narrative. So they get shorter and then faster. And that's why a lot of people will say, oh, you sound so fast when you talk. It's more or less that our vowels get shorter as the words become longer. This same concept is used when we link phrases together. So for instance, I had a great question today. Um, someone asked in a comment, how do you say the word and? And oftentimes that word gets um, made shorter, um, that vowel, because the it is linked with the words around it. So if you had hugs and kisses, I wouldn't say each word like that. I would link them together with a pause, without a, a pause between them, and say hugs and kisses. And that part would become the shortest part. Um, I'm in the process of recording some videos now, and that's one of the concepts that I do definitely address. Okay, so let me show you the words too so that this is a little helpful. All right, so we have narrate, narrator, narrative. And then let's go on to the next one. Pronounce, pronounced, pronouncing. So we have pronounce with two syllables, pronounced with two syllables, and then pronouncing with three syllables. So think about humming that, that might help you. So we have mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. You might be able to hear the beats a little bit more without really paying attention to the rest of the sound. Sometimes that makes it um, a little easier. Okay, I want you all to take a turn, okay. Let's start with this word, pronounce, pronounced, pronouncing. All right, let's go to this next one. This is nice and long. We have comfort, comfortable, uncomfortable, uncomfortably. Okay, so let's break this down. This is definitely a hard one. Comfort, comfort. And then we're going to have three beats. Comfortable, Comfortable. And then we're gonna have uncomfortable, uncomfortable. And then uncomfortably, uncomfortably. I'm gonna say them all at the same time so you can hear them. Comfort, comfortable, uncomfortable, uncomfortably. Okay, so how are you all doing? This is, this is a tough concept, so I just wanna check in, make sure everything is okay. Does anybody have any questions before I move on? 
Okay, it doesn't look like it. All right. So the next word, I'm going to go ahead and um, pronounce this while I'm looking at you because that helps people sometimes. Okay, so the word is um, research. So we have research. And then we have researched. The only thing that's different about that is that I'm adding one more sound for that ED ending. I'm also having a course about that this week. Um, I have a long tutorial, but some people were saying it's too long to watch, so I'm making you a nice short lesson on that. And then the last word is researcher. So I have research, researched, researcher. Okay, give those a try. Research, researched, researcher. Okay, now let's move on to the next word. It's I'll clap them out first. So I'll do it all again. Take a turn. Okay, now let's say the words. Invest. Invested. Investigate. Invest invested, investigate. Okay, let's do one more and then I'll put the words back up so you can see them. Okay. Okay, I'll clap it and then you take a turn. Okay. Current, currently. So current, Currently, current, currently, current, currently. Okay, so you can hear that my claps get faster as the words get longer. All right, let me show you these so you can see if you were saying them correctly. So again, let's just go through all of these. Narrate, narrator, narrative. Pronounce, pronounced, pronouncing. Comfort, comfortable uncomfortable, uncomfortably. Research, researched, researcher. Invest, invested, investigate. Current, currently. And then take a good look at this last one. I'll clap them out as you look, okay? So this is a super hard one. Let's try number one. So three beats. Profession. 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 Professional. Professional. And then professionally. 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 Profession. Professional, professionally. Okay, so that is it for today. Um, I'm just looking at questions here. You are welcome, Carla. Thank you for the video. Um, Federico, I love a good emoji. Um, I got the little wave hello. I love that. Um, Romania, that's a great one. Well, thank you. Hello. And oh, let's see. Carla, let me answer your question. I always get confused with how to pronounce image, native, and debate. Um, image, okay, I have paper here. I was looking for my, let me write those down for you. Okay. Okay, can you see that? Okay, so image is spelled I-M-A-G-E but it's pronounced with two beats, image, image, image. Okay, um, and then you have native. Let me see if I have a marker so this is easier for you to see. I do. Okay. Okay, 
Great question. I feel like you're helping me with some of my advertising here. Okay, I'm having another class on this this week. So we have nay and tiv, but when we pronounce it, we just say native. And this is called a flap T, which like I said, there's a class later in the week about this. Um, but essentially um, what you're going to do is two beats, nay, nice and long for that first part, and then div, nice and short, native. Um, and then the last one you're asking about is, debate. So um, syllable one is going to be the shorter syllable and syllable two is going to be longer. Debate, debate. Um, just a quick tip, when we are pronouncing words like I reference at the beginning of this video, I'm not sure if you were here for the beginning of the class, um, what you need to keep in mind is that there's an overarching rule that when we have a word, um, that is a noun and it's two syllables. We typically, you know, there's always an exception in English. We typically stress syllable one. And when it's in a verb, we typically stress syllable two. Um, so my example at the beginning was produce, like the vegetables that you buy at the store, which is the noun, the produce versus to produce where I'm stressing the second syllable. So again, that's just a general rule. Um, you're welcome, Carla. Oh, okay. Um, Dameth or Dameth, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Overwhelm. Okay. We don't see the H in this word. So overwhelm. O, ver, and then just a W. W, elm. O, ver, whelm. I don't know where you're from, but a lot of people confuse the W and the V. So for the V, you're gonna gently bite your bottom lip and that air is gonna keep coming out. And then for the W, your lips are just rounded in a pucker. So overwhelm. Okay. Oh, great, Carla. Carla's feeling a little more confident. Christian, brittle? I'm not quite sure what that is even. What's a brittle? Oh, bridal. I got it. Okay. Here's how I teach it. Okay, so bri, long I. Bri, like you're saying I, bri, and then dull. Now, what I do is I have my tongue behind my top front teeth for the D. D, 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 dull. I pull it down and then push it back up for that L, bridal. Some people say when I pronounce it that they actually hear a little schwa sound in there. Like you're saying bridal, like dull, like the word dull, not shiny, bridal. And that's fine too. You can say that if that works better for you. Um, yes, Nick 29 kit, water does have a flap T. So we would say, water. Oh, hello from Sri Lanka. Uh, Dameth, thank you. Can you say how to pronounce a word airport? Um, airport does not have airport. No, it does not have a schwa. Okay, this is another quick tip. So in a compound, we learned the rule just now about the two syllable words. And if it's a noun, we typically stress syllable one. And if it's a verb, we typically stress syllable Two, so in English, when you have a compound noun, which you know we have a million of them, or a phrasal verb, we're going to apply that same rule. So if it's a compound noun, we're going to stress word one. Key part here is that we're going to link those words together with no pause in between them. Then you're going to um, make sure you apply our shorter syllables and sound rules that we just learned. And you're going to say air, make that part stressed, air, Airport, airport, airport. I don't usually hear a schwa in that, but I'm sure there's some regional variation somewhere in the US where people might say that. Um, I typically don't say it with a schwa though. Okay. Um, 
And if I'm missing your question, please let me know. I'm trying to go through this in order. Antonio, Antonio Lira, how do you pronounce L at the end of syllable? Okay, what I typically tell people is when you have an L at the end of a word, um, we're not going to say the E in this case, okay? So we're going to say sil a bull, or you can use that little schwa sound, which I'm just going to write as a U because it's kind of a schwa. So sil, really, really, really short schwa sound, which is just like uh, a completely relaxed mouth and an uh, and we actually make that a syllable. So in my name, Jennifer, I have a schwa syllable. Most of my students say, hi, Jennifer. Um, and the first thing I teach them is how to say my name correctly, which is Jenna, Jennifer. It's that uh, that schwa syllable. Okay, so we have sil, uh, and then for bull, you're gonna put your lips together, bull. And as you open your lips, your tongue tip is gonna touch the back of those top front teeth, syllable. Tip here, hold the tongue behind the top teeth for an L at the end of the word, because it's kind of like a vowel in English and that will make you sound so much better and it will even fix a lot of your vowel sounds. Okay, um, this is so much fun with all of these questions. Um, let's see, and it's super hot today, which is why I'm in this outfit, so I'm usually not this casual on here. Let's see, the words girl and leader, okay. Um, it's so funny. I just recorded a video for girl. I recorded like 50 videos, so I'm set for the year. Um, but I still have so many of your questions to um, answer that I'm still still making those videos. Okay, so for girl. Okay, for your er sound, you have a couple of options. Your er, you can have the tip of your tongue down in the bottom of your mouth, and the back of your tongue is... Um, kind of curled up towards the roof of your mouth. Er, er, and your lips are rounded and a little tense. Some people make it, I don't usually do this, um, make it with the tip of their tongue curled back, um, and then it sort of flipped back. Girl, I can do it, but it's not natural for me. Girl, so pick which one works for you. Say that sound, girl, and then again, that L sound really messes people up. You must. Make the L by touching the tip of your tongue to the back of your top front teeth for most words so that it sounds correct and long enough. So this er is kind of a vowel in English. It is a vowel. And so you want to make sure that when you end with that L, um, that that will help that vowel. Girl, girl. And then for later, we have another flat T. So you all better be at that class um, this week, although it might be hard because most people will probably be at work. Um, but it will be recorded, so you can watch it later. Um, we're going to use the flat T again. So lay, long A, lay, later, later, later. Okay. Um, how do you pronounce leg lock? I'm not quite sure what that is. Is that a wrestling term? <laughs> Leg lock? Okay. I'm going to answer it for you. I hope this isn't embarrassing. Um, should be nice. So leg, um, you want to do the short. So L, again, we've been talking about this, tongue behind the top teeth. L eh, eh, eh. Your mouth is a little bit open. Leg. Your tongue is sort of in the middle. And then G at the end is voiced. Leg. G -g -g -g. This should be on and vibrating, okay? And then for lock, your mouth is really open for that ah, la, and your tongue, look how low my tongue is, la. It's way down there, the back is slightly pulled up. And then we're gonna end with the K sound. The difference between the G and the K is that the K sound is not voiced, so your voice is not vibrating. G, k, g, k. Your mouth is doing exactly the same thing. So we have leg, Lock. If I'm, I'm making up that this is a wrestling term, if it really is, and you have someone in a leg lock, that would be a compound noun, and make sure you stress word one and then not word two. Okay. Um, all right. Lonely boy. Um, I think you left me a very funny comment today, if that was you. It made me blush and smile. I think it was you. So I'm glad you're here. 
Um, sixth. Oh, okay. And I do appreciate that lonely boy because I'm getting older and I need all those compliments. I love it. Okay. Okay. This is a tough one. Sixth, which would be this. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is start with the S and then add that really short I. Sometimes people say the word sex instead of six. And look how closely my mouth is for this. Okay. So six the number six versus sex with a little more of an open mouth. So remember, your mouth is pretty closed for this if sound. So sick, like the word sick, like you're feeling ill. Sick, no voicing here, okay? Sick, the tongue tip is down in the bottom of the mouth for that K. And then you're going to move it up to the back of those top front teeth. Six, six. Then you need to stick your tongue out of your mouth for that TH. Six, 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 six. It's kind of confusing. Um, take it slowly at first, but you can even hear when I'm saying it. Six, six, that I kind of force that tongue out at the end to make that TH on there. Um, so Sue Ellen, Sue Ellen, Sue Ferry. Oh, I just messed up your name. I'm so sorry. I hope that answered your question. Okay, fig your tiff. Figurative. Figure a div. Figure a div. Figure a div. Figurative. We got a schwa in here, so a super short sound. And then that um that flap T situation again. So figurative. Um, Christian, are you getting married? Because you have a lot of wedding words. Okay. Betrothal is ba. Let me actually make that a schwa. Ba tro -thal. Ba tro -thal. Sorry, I'm even getting confused myself. Ba tro -thal. So for that, thol, it's actually pretty easy because you stick your tongue out and then you just pull it back in and touch your teeth for that L. Ba tro -thal. Okay, and I have to know, Christian, are you getting married? Or are you in the wedding industry? Because you had a lot of good questions there. Did I forget any questions? If I did, um, ask now or forever hold your peace. It's a little wedding humor for you. Okay, I don't think so. All right, um, thank you all so much for being here. You guys got a nice little bonus lesson since I was so late because I couldn't get everything to work. So um, best of luck to you. Thank you for all of your support. Please tell your friends about us. Please share our videos um, because of you and getting all of your friends to subscribe. That's why we've been here for so long. If you want, I'm trying out some new things on Facebook and Instagram. Um, you might want to, you know, check me out over there. They're both under Tarl Speech. And also, um, if you're looking for more ways to practice, I have a ton of books on um iTunes for you to buy, um, um, Apple iBooks. I'm also in the process, I'm just waiting, it takes a while to get these things up and running. I have a new book coming out um, that is all my consonants and all my vowels with audio recordings that will be on Google Play. I'm just waiting for my, um, for my okay there. Um, and then for my iBooks, they also have videos and audio and word lists. Um, they're all pretty much the same, but they're a little different depending on the operating system and what each group requires. Um, I also have products on my website, which are PDF versions of everything. And then I have the videos and the audio kind of all in, in one package. I'm trying to come up with a better way for that to make it a lot easier. It's just kind of difficult because the files are so big. Um, so again, thank you, thank you so much. Um, 
it's been a pleasure being here with you today. So I'll see you the rest of the, the week for the next 13 days. And if you have any questions, always leave them in the comments section below. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.